Hey guys, welcome to another video. This one is how to use Trust Wallet. Trust Wallet is a crypto app that you can use to store your coin. You can use to store your coin, send, receive your coin, stake your coins, and even exchange your coin. And if you have Binance app, now currently Trust Wallet is owned by Binance. So it's a good wallet that will help you to connect your Binance account right and also store your coin right there so we'll be looking at the full tutorial on how to use it step by step all right so the first thing is setting up your trust wallet so what you're going to do is go to your play store if you don't have trust wallet so go to your play store and type trust wallet all right so this is the app trust trust crypto and bitcoin wallet so you click on install, you wait for it to install All right now. So the trust wallet is installing and it has finished installing. So I'll click on open. So this is it. When you come on trust wallet, so you are going to see open, create a new wallet. I have already existing wallet. Okay. So anybody anywhere that has an existing wallet can open trust wallet and add it right there. All right. We are going to know the reason towards the end of the video why you should secure your key very well so i'm going to be creating a new wallet so i'll create on create i'll follow the policy continue right so they are telling me to put a passcode which i'm going to select right so i'll click on continue so here is my i've given me my 12 phrase okay so this 12 phrase that i am actually looking at right now is very very important you should not share it with anyone right anybody that has access to your 12 phrase who is going to go into your wallet and they can use your wallet for whatever they want to use it for so what i advise is write out the 12 phrase out and immediately you write them out you store it in a place where you know you are not going to lose them so you'll be needing it in the next stage so on this particular place where i am at right now you might not be seeing it on the screen you are going to just input the first the phrase to confirm that this is your account all right guys so i have created a trust wallet account okay so i've done everything i've set up the security for my trust wallet now i can go on so click on notification if you want to get notification from trust wallets or like to get notification so once you get into the new trust wallet this is the way it looks right so this is the new trust wallet this is how it looks you are going to see on the first uh, interface you see the most popular coin bitcoin bnb ethereum right so that is the first coin you will see there hey guy if you are getting value from this video right now i would like you to subscribe if you are not subscribed and like this video and let me know in the comment section if there's something you don't understand if you are getting value let me hear that you are getting value and the video is helpful to you so the first thing you are going to do next is to go to your settings right so set up your trust wallet this is where you set it so this is my wallet right here i can decide to remain rename my wallet okay okay So, I've renamed my wallet right here. Okay. So, you can do other things. You can put it on dark team, on dark mode. Then, this is your price alert, alert. So, you can click it, price alert, so that you can always get updated on coin that is increasing or decreasing. Okay. You can actually add another coin right here. You can search for the coin here. This is another coin. This is Wikicat, right? I created a video on Wikicat just recently. You can check it out, right? So you can click on Wikicat and I'll add it, right? So right here are your contacts. Okay, you can add contacts if you want. Then you can go to preference. So in the preference, you can change it to Naira if you are from Nigeria or you can change it to USD. All right, so let me put it in Naira, okay? Change it to Naira. So I have my trust wallet in Naira. So on the setting, you see other things. This is your security is there, your notification, and QR code, and so many other things. 
right so once you are done with setting the next thing is how to add tokens okay so we are going to add tokens you want to add a token a new coin that is not on this your list okay how do you do that so you are going to click on add tokens right here so when you click on add token you can search for the coin so let's say we want to add Solon solana all right so we can click on solana here and we have added it let's say we want to add wiki cards you can click on wiki card and added it let's, so this is how you add token other ways you can add it is to put the tokens um contract address so you can paste it right here the tokens contract address and you have added your token so you can see right here that's my solana that's wiki cards Right, so once you've done this, if you don't want the tokens to be on this page, all you just need to do is to swipe to the left. Okay, you disable it, it's gone. Right, so if you want to disable this one, you disable it and it's gone. Okay, so that is how to add your tokens. So you can also send and receive, right, into your wallet. So let's say I want to send wiki cards for someone, all I need to do is to click on wiki cards here and I'll click on send. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is the person I'm sending to, the person's address is what I'm going to put in here, the person's contract address, and I'll put the amount of wiki card that I want to send to the person right here. Once I'm done with this, then you click on continue, right? But there's nothing I put in there. Okay, so let's do invalid address. So you have to put a valid address. So that is how you send. Then how do you receive? If you want to receive wiki card right now, just click here. And this is my address and it's a public address, all right? Anybody can see it. So all I need to do is just to copy it and send it to the person sending the wiki card to me and the person will send wiki card to my address. And this is the same way you receive BNB, all right? So let's say you want to buy BNB, you click on smart chain BNB here, then you click on receive, copy it and send it to the person that you are meant to receive bnb from okay so this is how to receive um bnb from then another place you should check out is let's say we go to bnb and we click here so this is the detail about bnb when you click on view market cap all right if you click on view market cap so this is it you can view it on coin market cap coin market cap is connected to trust wallet so you can see how the coin is doing how it is growing and all that so this is where you check it out currently it is going now people have, it's falling and falling and falling right so that's it another place you should check out on trust wallet is your browser right so this is where you can do exchanges so you see pancake swap you see uniswap and different other um swaps and day fees that are here so the most popular is here pancake swap so you click on pancake swap if you want to do any transaction on pancake swap right so i have shown how to buy coin using pancake swap so you can check out that video is in my channel how to buy wiki card is the same process right so you have to note which address you are using is it an ethereum address or is it a the 20 address smart chain game so you can change it to smart chain all right so now do whatever you want to do right here okay let's say it's wiki cards okay so that is basically how to use um pancake swap all right so if you want to learn how to buy bn on trust wallet i'm going to be creating a video for you on that how to buy bnb using p2p make sure you watch that video when it's dropped so if you have not yet turned on your notification do where to turn it on right now so i don't miss it when the video drops until then see you next time